We are at the Peterson Museum Tesla exhibit, Inside Tesla Supercharging the Electric Revolution. First off, we're looking at an exploded view of it looks like a Model Y. This is with the structural battery pack and Giga castings. Here you can see the Giga castings. Here you see the structural battery pack and how the seats sort of just sit on the battery pack. There's the front motor. It's amazing to see in a second, I'm gonna take you over to the actual Model Y that they use in the crash testing for the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration where it won the award. They have the car here. here you can see the front. Here's the Model Y test vehicle that they gave to the National Traffic Safety Administration for the test in 2022, where it won. It says here, the safety of the new Tesla components is facilitated by an interactive design process that aims to make the company's cars already highly rated by governmental and independent agencies even safer. This Model Y all-wheel drive benefits from one such component, the new front underbody casting. A full frontal impact of 35 miles an hour was performed on this vehicle to assess the performance of the crumple zone, front casting and passenger compartment, as well as the occupant restraints such as airbags and seatbelts. Rigorous testing earned the 2022 Model Y a top safety pick plus by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, the primary independent organization that conducts crash tests in the US. It also received a five-star rating from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the European New Car Assessment Program gave Model Y the highest overall score of any vehicle tested under the organization's most stringent tests protocols. Top speed 135, 279 miles, so to go to 65 seconds. And so this is what an impact at 35 miles an hour dead on front collision would do to your Model Y. And while this is unfortunate, this is what's most important. Virtually no evidence of damage other than the airbags. Elon talks a lot about the machines that build the machines. KUKA robotics arm, robotic arm. So this is the robotic arms that Tesla is using to build the gigacasting. <laughs> this is what I want to get a look at. The 2022 Tesla Structural Battery Pack. These are 4680 cells, cross-section. Pause here if you want to read this. Elon Musk believes the Structural Battery Pack is the right overall architecture from a physics standpoint, and Tesla is in the process of refining the Structural Battery Pack for future applications. Here. Here's the patent for it. Again, pause if you want to see this. But there it is. Okay, now that I'm actually standing in front of it, I gotta say these 4680 cells are way bigger in person than you would think. I mean, they are huge. So I guess this is a Model Y. Again, a cross section of a 4680 or Texas built Model Y. The structural battery pack and Giga castings. does electricity power an EV? Feel free to pause if you want to read through this. I get a good look. Structural battery pack. And here's the actual cells. Again, they are way bigger than you would think. They're big. You can see how little space between them. Oh, and this is the inside of one. This is them unrolled.
deconstructed battery pack. Sexy cars completing the master plan. The key to what making things affordable is design and technology improvements as well as scale. I think this is the 2021 2021 Model S Plaid. This is the 2016 Model 3 prototype. I gotta say, it doesn't look much different than the one that's out there now, but we know a lot of the improvements that were there. It's still a gorgeous car, man. Look at this thing. A 2012 Tesla Model X prototype. It's really weird to see the car that you drove up at in a museum that you paid money to go see. So this is the Model X prototype from 2016 with the bubble front. Here is the 2020 Model Y Performance. See the extra carbon fiber spoiler, those awesome red calipers. Now this is what I wanted to see. Looking forward, a new master plan. We will not stop until every car on the road is electric. Guys, words cannot describe how freaking cool this thing is. This is the 2017 Roadster 2.0 deck model. Again, pause it if you want to read this. Designed for ultra performance and potentially capable of more than 250 miles per hour, it was the first Tesla to utilize the company's tri-motor plaid powertrain. Inspired by a reference to the high-speed space travel in the Mel Brooks comedy Spaceballs. Top speed 250 miles an hour, range 620 miles, zero to 60 1.9 seconds. I gotta say, it's also, it's smaller than you would think in person, but now I understand why this thing can do 250 plus miles an hour. It looks smaller, like by an order of magnitude of a, to a Model S Plaid, but has a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack, and I believe even larger tires. Twenty seventeen Tesla Semi forty percent scale wrapped clay models and design Model S. Oh, I guess that was the the clay models that they used to design it. The semi's outside, so we'll look at that. Again, pause if you want to read this. Bill in twenty sixteen. Yeah, and this is weird. This is literally the car I drove up in today. <laughs> I guess it's a NASA version. What is this? This is the 2020 Tesla Model X Long Range Astronaut Shuttle. The NASA version of the Model X. Very cool. Again, feel free to pause if any of this, if you want to read any of this. There's the suits. I guess a replica model of the car Elon left in space. 2010 Tesla Roadster payload replica. Elon Musk's personal midnight cherry 2010 Tesla Roadster served as the payload for the first February 2018 test flight of SpaceX's Falcon X heavy rocket. A mannequin named Starman wearing a SpaceX spacesuit is positioned in the driver's seat with one hand on the steering wheel. It's hard to see from this angle. All right, let's see what we came here to see. If you are watching this, my first thought seeing this thing is, I don't have enough shares. It's a really, really hard surface. These tires are ginormous. Really hard, plastic, almost feel like plastic. What does it say? Good year. Excuse me. Dude, 
This thing is awesome. So I know that the production version of the Cybertruck is said to be about 5% smaller, but even this looks smaller in person than it did like when you saw it on Jay Leno or whatnot. This amount of suspension travel is just ridiculous. Like this is nuts. I mean, look at this ground clearance. Smart. Hiding the cameras in here, limiting some drag. This might have been the one that they smashed. That they smashed it. Getting some glare, but you can see it's got the yoke. Let's look at the back here, console. Wish they put it light inside. Looks like that center seat is a little something different than we've seen. I'm sure these are like the Tesla, like the Model X or S, where you push them and they open. 2019. Tesla Cybertruck prototype and Cyber Quad prototype. Again, I'll pan over to this and feel free to pause it if you want to read what this says. Here what it says. This prototype Cybertruck includes adjustable air suspension, onboard power, and available compressed air, allowing to adapt to different off-road environments and driving needs. So yeah, they definitely see this as a lifestyle vehicle, a lifestyle choice. Here's the bed of the truck. It looks wider than most of the truck beds that I've seen, but not as deep. I wonder if that new version of it, they're gonna have this intermediate wall here that will be able to retract and allow access to the, in, the inner cargo compartment. I've also heard talk that they'll make this up here, retractable solar panels, get you a little bit of power in case you ever get stuck. Here's the ramp that leads up and the cyber quad. From the side, it looks a bit taller it's gonna be over once this thing is released. Get another good look at it. This is something I really wanted to see. 2021 Plaid drive unit, also used in the Model S Plaid. 829 horsepower, 1,020, 18,700 RPM. You can pause it if you want to read that. So this is the dual motor Plaid drivetrain unit that's inside the Model S or the Model X Plaid. Interesting. There you can see the carbon fiber wrapping. Here's some stuff related to Optimus. Here's the other thing that I really wanted to see. Here's the Optimus prototype. 21 Tesla bot prototype. This is at the first AI day. Again, pause if you want to read this. This was the updated Tesla bot, the one that actually walked. to 2022 Tesla drive units. Just take a look at these. Feel free to pause if you want to look. Ta 
top speed 155. Fifteen small drive unit. Twenty twenty two. Here's the twenty twenty two plaid. It really is amazing that something this small can produce so much power. Two thousand eight Tesla Roadster. I drove this thing in. What was that Forza for Xbox? It's the car that started it all. Twenty fourteen P ninety D aerodynamic display from high drag to low drag. Pretty gnarly stuff. The 1989 Batmobile, as depicted in Batman, 1989 and 1992. Wow, look at this thing. Crazy intake. Yo, this is crazy. 1982 to 1986. This car, this is sick. Man, I was such a fan of this car. Look at this thing. And what's funny is this thing had a yoke. With the screens, the CRT screens. <laughs> Look at those buttons. Last thing I wanted to get footage of here is the 2017 semi-alpha prototype. <clears throat> Again, it looks a lot smaller. I know I'm saying this about a semi, but it looks a lot smaller than you would think it is in person. Let's see if we can get a look on the inside of the interior. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Yeah. Absolutely massive tires. Holy balls. It's clear that you were still in the infancy. It's just beginning. Um, so I am leaving today a lot more bullish on this company. I gotta buy more shares. We just don't have enough.